The pontoon boat was launched into Lakeside Park at 5.15 p.m. Pima County Sheriff's Search and Rescue Team circled the lake for about two and a half hours. The boat is equipped with sonar and an underwater camera. They were searching for Isabel Celes. I think we'd be remiss if we didn't search all those areas that could possibly be a location that hides evidence. Sheriff's deputies walk the shoreline. If anything looks amiss, if there's any sign of entry, or excuse me, entry into the lake or vehicles that have driven up close to the lake or something of that nature. As the boat floated looking for the missing six-year-old, Bianca looked on as her little girl was enjoying the playground. It's very scary because I just live down the street, so it's, it, I mean, it hits home. Like, it makes you realize and see, like, it's just very scary, especially I have three little girls. Nearby residents who heard about the search came out to the lake to look for themselves. It just makes me so sad to think that someone could harm a child. As day six of the search comes to an end, law enforcement is able to put to bed any doubts whether or not this lake holds any secrets in the investigation for the missing six-year-old. I live in that neighborhood. I called from the work I was doing here. I called my wife and said, get out. It's time to evacuate. People are what count. We try so hard to get everybody out of the way of that danger. It's our focus. Not knowing about my house, and I had people offer to, they were going up there to check and call me, and I said, I don't want to know. I can't, I can't work that way. I need to not know. We're professionals. We're always motivated. We do structure protection, but it's really people protection. You know, found out a little bit about the houses that weren't standing, and, and I know those people. So, um, you know, it's, it hurts. It's very, very difficult. It's very, very difficult. Some of us have our houses, some of us don't. We have a tight little neighborhood and community up there. Those are our friends. We were unable to protect everybody, which is our goal. That, that's hard, because it is our neighbors. Tucson, this feels for you. My name is David Ramirez, and I'm a lead painter for the University of Arizona. We paint buildings, offices, uh, streets. We're all journeyman painters painting athletic fields. And the sun shines bright all day. Did I hit that one already? Uh, you're standing on one, not knowing if it's wet, not trying to step on another one that, you know, is still wet. Walk on the blue. It's almost like playing Twister. We paint the field as we were, as though we were painting a room or a, a wall, a house, a building. See, and I love it. Fernando always says, "Oh, it's going to be on HD. You're going to see it." <laughs> When I'm painting the field or, or spraying on the A, I know that a lot of people are going to be watching it or seeing it. It all comes down to the quality of our work, my work, and as a crew, we have, I think, one of the best looking fields in this country. It's kind of sad in a way because it's uh, like the last time we'll be doing this field, uh, they will be going to artificial turf. It will be something we'll miss. So when we do turn on the TV, it'll, it'll be the same field every time, you know, nothing different about it, but that's something we have to live with, you know, and, and it'll go on, you know, life goes on. A lot of us have been out here for 20, 25 years painting this field, and we put a lot of pride into our work, which kind of escalates into pride for the fans and, and uh, the school. We love what we do, we wouldn't be here if we didn't, and we've always told our painters that, you know, if you have to love what you do to do it well. I've seen some uh, fields and I think bar none, we're one of the best. Ah!